something bad because this morning he, he wasn't feeling very well. And he kind of came into my room and said, you know, like, Sandro, you picked the restaurant and now I'm sick. So I, now you have to go to the speech for me because I, I, I really don't feel well. I can't do this. And, and so, um, yeah, I, I apologize on his behalf that he couldn't make it. He did tell me how important this was to him. I, I mean, I can I can see how important it is. And I'm sure if he could, if, if he was able to do so, he would have done it. Um, instead, he sent me, which I hope is okay. How is he now? Uh, I actually don't know. I haven't seen yet. Uh, I'm gonna go back home after this because uh, he, we, this event started late and we were in such a hurry that he came into my room, said, I'm sorry, you have to do this speech for me, and I kind of just left. So I'm gonna go check on him now, actually, once I get home. Was he rushing the hospital? No, 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 nothing like that. It's nothing, nothing serious. He just fell. I think it's food poisoning, to be honest, so I, he should be okay. How was the experience like for you, considering this is a very important, contentious event? <laughs> well, I need to brush up on my Tagalog. Um, but it was definitely eye-opening, uh, to say the least. I, I have never, or the, the last time, I, I've only done that once before. Um, and that was in 2010, I think, when I was much younger. Than that. But it was definitely an eye-opening experience to see, you know, what my father experienced, what he goes through every day. Um, it's definitely a lot harder than it was. And I realized that now. <laughs> something you'd like, you yourself would like to is it, is it the life you'd like to live in the future? Uh, we'll see. Honestly, I, I actually answered a question inside earlier about that. When my dad was my age, he would say the same thing that he didn't know. Because there's so much that changes in your life that I can't really, I can't really say what I'm going to do in the future. Are you ready? What do you think about the political dynasty? Wow, that's a loaded question. Um... Well, honestly, my my two cents, I, I live abroad, so I don't know. But um, I feel that, obviously, it's, I mean, it's not just um, accept, an exception in the Philippines, it is to other countries, in my opinion. Um, if, you, if you look at the Bush family in the US, uh, two were congressmen and two were president. And um, you can't limit such something such as that to a country such as the Philippines. It's 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 something that exists everywhere. And I feel that you know it's yeah. People first of all have the option to go into politics, and I feel like it's a natural progression when you have family members in politics. You are exposed to politics. So as a natural precursor to that. You end up in politics. I mean, I, I've been exposed. My father was exposed to politics since he was that old, and I, I, I've been since my dad was governor. I've always, you know, come with him to all his speeches, and I definitely feel that has sort of a deciding factor as to what one does in the future as a profession. But that's no exception to politics as it is with any other profession. If I, if I were, if I were, if my father were a news journalist and I went with him on the job, I would probably become a news journalist. It, it, I just feel it's, it's something that is natural rather than um, made. So is he grooming you? <laughs> no, he's not. Okay. My dad has always been very vocal and how and supportive towards whatever I want to do in the future, and he has always said that. No matter what profession I pursue. You want to Um. Obviously, it's hard because I know that if he does and if he does win, you know that that completely means that my life will change, and I, I don't I don't know what those changes will be, but. On the other hand, I, I support my father with whatever decision he makes. Um, I, I wholeheartedly feel that. Are you ready for the same scenario if or when he decides to run in 20, for 2016 and he, he would need to represent your father in sorties and campaign rallies? It's something I've been doing since I was very young. So um, if he were to ask for me to do um, things such as that, I, I would be wholeheartedly prepared. Thank you. Thank you.